Hi everyone, I am uh, Dr. Aparna Govil Bhaskar and I am a bariatric surgeon uh, with an experience of about 13 years. I practice in Mumbai and I am associated with uh, a Global Hospital in Parel, Apollo Hospitals, uh, Namaha and Suchak Hospital in Kandivili and Malad and also Curie Hospital in Thani. Uh, I am a bariatric surgeon as I said and I deal with uh, uh, patients who are suffering from obesity and the first thing that I would like to share with all of you is that um, uh, what we need to realize is that obesity is a disease uh, even today uh, when we perceive uh, people with who are suffering with obesity we actually think that these are people who have uh, probably inflicted this upon themselves and they are in some way responsible for uh, the, uh, the weight that they carry so uh, first of all uh, we need to realize that obesity is a disease like any other chronic progressive disease. It is uh, very similar to diabetes or heart disease and the progression is uh, also very similar as uh, various uh, stages uh, and uh, today we actually define the stages of obesity basis uh, the body mass index that's the parameter that we use so if uh, uh, the BMI is between 23.5 to 27.5 uh, then these patients are considered to be overweight uh, people with BMI between 27.5 and 32.5 suffer from grade 1 obesity Anyone with a BMI more than 32.5 up to 37.5 is suffering from grade 2 obesity and any uh, uh, person who is suffering uh, whose BMI is more than 37.5 is said to have grade 3 obesity. Uh, when we talk about bariatric surgery, it is actually the treatment option for grade 3 obesity and sometimes for grade 2 obesity with uh, two associated diseases like diabetes, hypertension, sleep apnea or say uh, any other problem which is associated with obesity. So uh, the treatment will depend upon the grade of the obesity and uh, we will advise accordingly. Now when we talk about bariatric surgery, it is basically uh, a laparoscopic surgery it is a gastrointestinal surgery where we actually reduce the size of the stomach and in some kinds of surgeries we may actually read out the intestines and join it to the stomach. So there are two or three main types of uh, surgeries which are commonly performed uh, currently in India. One of the commonest types of surgeries is uh, the laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. In a sleeve gastrectomy what we do is that we divide the stomach vertically and we create a small tube of the stomach. About 65 percent of the stomach is actually removed out of the body. So what remains inside is a small tube of the stomach. Obviously because the stomach has reduced in size, so, uh, the, uh, uh, the amount of food that the patients can take is restricted. Plus they feel full very early and one of the effects of bariatric surgery is that the person doesn't even feel hungry after uh, having the surgery done. So even while they are eating smaller quantities of food, they feel comfortable. The other surgery is called as uh, laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypass. This is one of the commonest and actually one of the oldest surgeries that exists uh, in the world uh, in the field of bariatric surgery. It has one of the best results. In this surgery what is done is basically a small pouch of the stomach is created and the intestines are joined to this pouch in a Y-shaped manner. So what is done here is that we are not removing any part of the stomach. <laughs> what we do is that we actually uh, reroute the intestines and reduce the size of the stomach. So this also has uh, similar effects. Uh, the person is able to eat less, uh, they feel full very early, they don't feel hungry plus the, um, uh, the total number of calories that they consume, they don't absorb all of them. So it also has an added effect of some degree of malabsorption. Now it totally depends upon the patient's clinical profile and after a thorough evaluation we decide that which surgery would be suitable for which kind of patient. All surgeries will lead to at least uh, 65 to 75 percent of excess weight. Uh, in addition to weight loss, bariatric surgery also leads to a very significant improvement in the quality of life of the patient. Uh, associated diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, uh, liver disease, uh, lung disease, all these uh, show a lot of improvement after bariatric surgery and overall health of the patient improves. Weight loss happens over a period of about a year to year and a half and um, uh, most patients are able to maintain their weight. Yes, 
to for long term weight maintenance a little bit of work is required from the patient's end as well and uh, we do expect uh, some degree of uh, lifestyle and behavior modification from the patient uh, follow up is a very very important part of the whole program because good follow up and great attendance in support group meetings actually keeps these patients uh, motivated because uh, uh, that is what pushes them into lifestyle modification and helps them to sustain that change in their lifestyles so all in all bariatric surgery is safe the complication rates are similar to any other uh, surgery which is being done and um, in the end uh, what i would like to say is that when you are suffering from uh, severe obesity both the things that if you don't get treated properly uh, there are repercussions of that and that can actually lead to life threatening problems uh, doing the surgery of course is always a risk and people always think twice about getting a surgery done but i think the benefits of uh, doing a bariatric surgery for a severely obese patients are uh, much much more as compared to the risks that are associated with it thank you if you have any uh, queries regarding weight loss or bariatric surgery you can uh, contact me through library.com uh, as well thank you